have already seen peacock pheasants in this series. Now John Corder from the World Pheasant Association, the WPA, has another pheasant he's keeping back from the brink of extinction. Cabo's tragopan. They're one of five tragopan species, the only one that isn't red, all the other four are red. Uh, the cabos are this sort of orangey-yellow colour, and they were, tragopans are the uh, few, one of the few pheasants that makes its nest in a tree, uh, sometimes you know, 20, 30 metres up uh, an old established tree. There's a, a, a breeding programme for these to conserve them in China, and we're trying to help the Chinese actually parent rear these birds so that if they parent rear them they are suitable for going back into the wild. If they're incubated they go back and don't survive. So we are trying to teach the Chinese how to breed them uh, and parent rear them and the Chinese come here for training uh, for, uh, so that they can then go back to their own breeding program in Gansu province. Uh, the pheasant is a very silly bird and um, it has a very small brain uh, and for most species you would think that uh, if uh, it became hand tame that it would be uh, a problem to put it back into the wild but the pheasant's behaviour is so instinctive that you can make a pheasant go wild very very quickly. Um, so we like our birds to be very relaxed so they don't fly up and break their necks hitting the roof of the aviary. So our birds are very relaxed if they're going back into the wild. If you catch them in a net, they go turn wild very, very quickly. For more about the work of the WPA, go to pheasant.org.uk.